the enemy of excellence is not something bad. The enemy of excellence is good enough. Something that doesn't quite reach our expectations or our highest aspirations, but is good enough to settle for, has tremendous power to distract us from trying to reach and achieve our goals or our highest potential. Good enough is a much more potent threat to our highest aspirations than something bad ever will be. Hesse Speakeasy Toastmaster Club is a wonderful place to come and practice our public speaking skills, our leadership skills, yet constructive feedback, and to grow and develop personally and professionally. But every Monday evening at 6.30 when we walk out these doors, that is not the end of the opportunities for growth and development. It is only by stepping outside of our comfort zone that we can find ourselves in that magical, fertile place where true growth and development is planted, nurtured, and thriving. Every meeting, there are opportunities for speaking and leadership development. The Toastmaster, Table Topics Master, General Evaluator. Now, we don't normally think of these as being leadership development opportunities. But every time that we accept and fulfill one of these roles during the meeting, we are cultivating our capacity and confidence to fulfill similar roles in other settings. No club can function very well without competent leaders. So another opportunity for leadership development is to become a club officer, president, vice president of education, sergeant at arms. All of these bring with them training and experience that will broaden and deepen our skills and capacities to be excellent public speakers and leaders. But few people are ever born leaders. Most people grow into leadership, either because of their own ambition or because leadership opportunities that they never sought or expected are thrust upon them. Abraham Lincoln probably could not be elected today. He was, to say the least, not particularly photogenic. <laughs> <laughs> and his homespun stories and moralistic tales probably wouldn't play well as sound bites on CNN. In his day, many of Lincoln's peers thought he was really a pretty mediocre politician, and in fact many people thought he was just a fool. In retrospect, we look back and we realized that Lincoln was a constant politician, skillfully building alliances to win the Republican nomination and ultimately the presidency. And in my estimation, he was one of the few people of his day who could successfully prosecute the Civil War to a victory for the North and preservation of the Union. Abraham Lincoln was a very ambitious man. He always assumed that he was destined 
for greater things than being a shopkeeper or a railroad lawyer. Lincoln pursued a lifelong, rigorous course of self-education and preparation to develop the skills and capacities that made him one of this nation's greatest leaders. Harry Truman was never supposed to be president. Truman was elected vice president with FDR, and his vice presidency was truly insignificant. FDR rarely shared information with Truman, even about important decisions, and in fact, they only met twice privately during their joint tenure. Truman didn't even know about the atomic bomb until after FDR died. Truman assumed the presidency after only 82 days when Franklin Roosevelt died suddenly. And Truman led this country into a new era of foreign relations. He guided this country through World War II and made the momentous decision, whether you particularly agree with it or not, to drop the atom bomb in Japan. He helped found the United Nations. He passed the $12 billion Marshall Plan to help build, rebuild Europe. He oversaw the Berlin Airlift and he sent American troops into South Korea when North Korea invaded. At the end of his presidency, he was not considered by his contemporaries as being a particularly important or successful president. But as we look back in retrospect, we realize that he was a great leader. Beyond the walls of Hastay Speakeasy, there are opportunities at the area, division, or district level. At each level of organization, there's an opportunity to serve as an area, division, or district officer, a president, or a vice president in membership or public relations. And with each of these opportunities comes additional training and skill development that will broaden and deepen our repertoire of skills. Contests are an excellent way to grow and mature as leaders. Those are the obvious competition itself. I, don't, I would suspect that Barb never thought of herself as a champion speaker. But in fact, Barb is the champion. The A1 Area Table Topics champion, and she will be advancing to the division level contest on November 3rd in Yakima. Now, contests aren't all about trophies and ribbons and certificates and getting all the attention and accolades. Oh, who am I kidding? They're partly about that. <laughs> but they are also about heading out into the wider Toastmaster community and seeing how someone else handles the problem of a table topics question. Or how they try to be humorous on purpose, which is actually a lot more difficult than it sounds. Even attending the contest as a spectator gives you the opportunity to grow and develop as you watch and see people handle these skills. And then there are the goals of hosting the contest itself. Jack, a couple of weeks ago, was the contest chair for our local club contest and for the area contest. 
something he had never done before, and it did very, very well. There are also, there's also the district conference, which is coming up in November in Spokane. There are always excellent keynote speakers, usually someone who was a former a world champion a public speaker, and there are workshops put on by Toastmasters just like you and I. Perhaps there is something that you can lead a workshop on, something you know how to do, that you can translate into a workshop setting. Again, stepping out of your comfort zone. And beyond Cascade Species, there are opportunities in our community, at service clubs, your place of worship, perhaps your place of work. There are lots of opportunities for us to grow personally and professionally. As long as we can step out of our comfort zone and dare to be excellent. Thank you.